it's still hard to believe that I'm a famous lady. It really is. I just, because I was just doing all that because for fun of it. Arlene's husband thought running the race would be a good advertisement for their house studio in Colorado Springs. I've never done much of any running in my life. So I said, okay. So he had friends that uh, were runners that would train me. And in 1959, she did just that. She ran the Pikes Peak Marathon with 18 other runners, 15 men, two women, and Arlene's daughter, Kathy, who was just nine years old. The shoes were bought in the dime store. That we just, I just wore shorts and a top, I, 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 and we got our, a drink of water in the streams as we went by. That was it. Quite, a, it was awesome thing to do, and and I'll never forget it as long as I live. Although this was the only marathon Arlene would ever run, she tried running the Boston Marathon and was not allowed to because she was a woman. Women weren't allowed to do anything. We were supposed to hold, stay home and have babies and bake cookies. You see, in the 50s, that's it. And Kathy says the real reason she ran the race was so she could spend more time with her mom. I was just out training with her. It was a way to spend time with her and talk with her. And 50 years later, when they found out about Arlene's and Kathy's major accomplishment, they were shocked. We, we go, no, there's no way. How could this be? You know, and we didn't even know. It was just, and ever since then, it's, it's, we're still in shock. Arlene says women can do anything they put their mind to. You know, if you really, something in life you want to do, get out and do it for yourself.